Welcome to the latest episode of Branding the Experience, where we discuss ways where we can create environments where employees actually want to come to work and customers want to keep coming back. I am Ken Vader, your host for Branding the Experience, also the founder of Vader Training and Consulting, and the author of the book, The Formula for Business Success Equals B Plus C Plus S, a discussion on brand culture strategy alignment. And today we're going to talk about the B portion. More specifically, we're going to talk about brand association and the value that it has in being a foundation for your marketing mix, the value that it has in improving your marketing results, and probably most important, the (laughs) the improvement it can make in generating more revenue. If we understand the brand association, and the levels of the different associations that we have and their importance to the people that we serve. So first off, we have to understand well, what the heck is a brand association. Simply put, and if you've read the book, you, you saw or read a, a couple of different definitions that, that I provided. But for the sake and ease of our discussion today, it's, it's first thoughts. What are some of the first thoughts that consumers have when they think of your business, your brand name? For example, if people think of Disney, uh, some people think of Mickey Mouse, which is obviously a brand association with character. But others think of the happiest place on earth. Others think of fun, entertainment, enjoyment. Those are some of the things that people have shouted out when I've talked about brand associations in my sessions. All of which Disney is probably really happy to have, and they work at not only continuing those associations through their marketing, marketing, but also through their their overall experience. But let's look at a couple of examples from two separate industries on a way that we may want to think about brand associations. Those two industries, too, that I've worked with before, one is restaurants, and the other is credit unions. So let's go over to the board real quick. So let's say we're starting a restaurant or we have a restaurant that we've had for a few years or a number of years. What are some of the brand associations with that? Well, you know, one is obviously food, right? And then another may be the, the type of restaurant we are. Maybe we're a, an Italian restaurant, so let's put that on there. Um, Another association may be neighborhood. Maybe you're in a particular neighborhood. Maybe another is family owned. Maybe maybe yet another is friendly. Everybody greets you, you get a great experience and so forth. Now, from a marketing standpoint, there is we can certainly use all of these these particular brand associations to help to drive more of the right business to our business. But the first thing that we need to think about is is what is most important to our customers and why do what they want to keep coming back. Now, a lot of times, what restaurants do is they make a mistake, and it's and it's frankly, uh, a very logical mistake, where they'll concentrate on this first. They'll talk about the great food that they serve, they'll talk about how authentic it is, they'll talk about the ingredients, and so on and so forth. And, you know, if you're you're a high-end foodie type of place, then, then maybe that makes sense. Maybe it is the experience of the actual food that people are coming for. But, you know, I will tell you, as I've talked about before, I think in this particular show, uh, as well as in my podcast and in some of my writing, that the fact is is that people will go back sometimes to, for a, a restaurant or a place with mediocre food, but a great experience because it's friendly, because it's in the neighborhood, because it uh, provides a, a great value. Because again, value is in the mind of the consumer, not in the mind of the owner or the manager. So while we might want to lead in our marketing with food, you know, the most important thing to consumers may be 
the family owned friendly or neighborhood aspect maybe you know it's like yeah, maybe I don't even have a taste for Italian food but you know what I want to go over there I want to get a little appetizer maybe have a couple of drinks because it's in my neighborhood and I always get greeted properly I always get a fun experience so when we're doing our marketing whether it's email marketing whether it's advertising in the local paper and so forth you know what we may want to do is is not necessarily lead with the great food that we have even if we do have great food maybe that number one you know really needs to be you know, the fact that we're a neighborhood establishment maybe that's why people keep coming back because of, hey you know what I just want a friendly family-owned neighborhood type of environment Maybe it's the family owned because a lot of times today, you know, people don't want to go to chains. People don't want to buy from the big guy. They want to buy from the local entrepreneur. So this family owned piece may be a real important brand association, especially if you've been a restaurant that's been in the neighborhood for a long time. Maybe you've been there for 25 years or something like that. Well, you know, hey, you know, if you've been around for 25 years, you must be doing something right. So that's a place that I want to visit. And once I visit it, I want to keep going back there. And maybe number three is the fact that you give friendly service. Or maybe even we'll put three here, the fact that it's an authentic Italian restaurant, right? Where not that the food is not important. And this is where I get arguments for, from some business owners and executives. I'm not saying that the food and the food quality isn't important. Of course it is. But in this particular scenario, the food in the consumer's mind may very well be a given. You know, we, we're expecting at least decent food. <laughs> you know, if you don't have decent food, you know, none of this will matter. Now, certainly, you can't serve bad food, you can't serve spoiled food, um, but you know, if the food is a meets, that's probably the best way of putting it, if the food is a meets expectation level, you know, where it doesn't blow anybody away, but you're like, yeah, yeah, it's good food, and all of this other stuff is there, then you're creating a really great experience that, going back to the line that I begin this show with all the time, helps to bring customers back, right? So, again, not saying that the food isn't important. I'm just saying that in terms of our marketing, we may want to lead with this to drive more of the right business to our business than necessarily the quality of the food. Let me give you another example, which may be a little bit more distinct. I also work with a number of credit unions. So let's talk about the brand associations for a credit union. Let's say it's a credit union uh, that works with teachers. Uh, my father was a teacher for well over 40 years, great teacher in, in a couple of different high schools. Um, and, and he obviously uh, you know, truly loved his, his teacher's credit union. So let's talk about a teacher's credit union. You know, what are some of the brand associations with, with the teacher's credit union? Well, you know, one, obviously the fact that it's a credit union. You know, that is, that is something that is different from being just another, fi another financial institution or a bank, per se. Uh, what are some of the other associations? Well, you know, obviously the particular schools that they serve, um, the other associations may be the products slash services that they offer. Um, you know, if they offer you know three different types of checking accounts or just one. Um, you know, also the the convenience. You know, such as you know we we belong to a system such as co-op that gives us thousands of ATMs uh, throughout the country that you have access to um, and then obviously the fact that they serve educators the fact that that their main brand association is with teachers now much like my example of the the restaurant 
where they want to lead with the fact that they're an Italian restaurant in the scenario I put forth earlier, uh, or you know, that they want to lead with the quality food. You know, all those are good brand associations, but may not be the most important thing where the, where the consumer sees the value. So a lot of times, for instance, in, with my credit union friends, they want to lead with this. They want to talk about the credit union difference, why it's, it's a non-for-profit and what that means for consumers, what that means for the members. Yeah, and, and that certainly is an important brand association, but especially for driving the right business to our business, especially at the beginning, that may not be the most important thing in the consumer's mind, in the potential member's mind. What may very well be the most important piece is the fact of who you serve. In this case, teachers. Teachers, teachers want you know, their own place. They, they want to be treated special. Yeah, you know, they've got a tough job. Yeah, you know, they they most of them don't make what they deserve, frankly. And to have somebody to have an organization that's specifically looking out for them, that's their special place. Yep, that many times is the number one message that gets people interested in your particular business, in this case a credit union, and wanting to keep coming back and even more importantly, tell their friends that are teachers, hey, you wanna go there. Yep, not saying that being a credit union is not an important brand association, just simply saying that that is a brand association from a marketing standpoint that we may not want to lead with. So for instance, in this case, maybe number two you know, is the schools that they serve because they see, oh, well, you know, my school is that I teach at is, is one that's eligible uh, for this for, for membership or uh, because I work there I'm eligible for membership so that may be a another leading brand association for your marketing yeah especially if the, the credit union works with a number of different schools or a specific type of school such as all public schools in a particular area um, or all private schools in a particular county uh, whatever that may be yeah, you know, that may be an important brand association as well. Yeah, you know, the next one might be might be that convenience. It may be that hey, we're part of co-op and we've got thousands of, of ATMs. It may be that we actually have a couple of satellite branch, branches and a couple of school district offices or something of that nature. And number four. You know, maybe products or services, who knows, but you know, maybe number four or number five is the fact that you're a credit union. Because at the end of the day, you know, the consumer may not really care at first whether they're doing their financial business with a bank or a credit union or even a brokerage firm that offers banking accounts or what have you. you know, they may care about you know, what's, what's really important to me. And that fact that you're a credit union may be that icing on the cake brand association either in your marketing mix or when you actually drive them through the door and you're talking to them about the products and services and opening up an account you know, how the credit union is that icing on the cake then what that means for them as a particular member so little bit of information little bit of guidance on brand associations what they are, and understanding the order that we may want to put them in in terms of our marketing message and how we think about our brand, and most importantly, how our customers, members, clients, consumers may see the value in those particular brand associations in order in their particular mind and in, in, in their image of you. Thank you for spending a little bit of time with me today. Hope you were able to learn a little something on brand associations. Hope you were able to take an idea or two that you can apply to your business marketing and hope that you're having a great day in branding the experience at your organization.
Take care.